out there in YouTube land. This is Liz again and I'm going crazy. I have refilmed my videos so many times today and it's just been a fucking disaster over and over. So hopefully this one will go smoothly. Finally. Okay. So now what I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, a bunch of cute ass blushes for the spring and summertime. Um, Recently, it's been getting warmer here in the state I live in, and I've been reaching for the more sort of pinky peachy blushes, and it occurred to me that I have um, a really nice little collection of beautiful, beautiful blushes that are great for the spring and summer, and so I thought I would just talk to you guys about them so um, you guys could get some suggestions if you're, you know, wondering what is good for spring and summer. So, um... I do have quite a few, so I'm going to jump right in. This might be a little long, but please bear with me because I got a lot of great, great um, products here that I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so now because I have already filmed this, I do have a few swatches already on my hand, um, but so I'm going to have to go in the same order as I did before. Okay, so the very first one I'm going to start with is a powder blush by MAC. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks. What I want to point out is that reflectivity right there. You can see how reflective it is and how beautiful that is. I'm not wearing one iota of highlighter on my cheeks. It is all in the blush. Um, and it is by, I said, it was already, I already said it's by MAC. Um, it is one of their mineralized blushes, and it is called Please Yourself. Now, it has the um, quilted pattern on it because it was um, from the Lightness of Being collection, and it cost $27, like the rest of their mineralized blushes, and it is a sort of pale candy pink with a plum uh, vein sort of swirling through it. It did have a silver overspray over it, but I deliberately wiped it off because it was just stupid. Every time I put my blush in it, it just poofed out everywhere, got all over everything, and just no. Um, that said, it still is extremely glittery, glittery, as you can see on my cheeks, and you do not need um, highlighter with this. That would be just overkill, I think. You can do whatever you want, of course, but I would suggest not using highlighter with this because it is reflective enough. Okay. Now, I do have it swatched on my hand. I'm going to make it a little bit heavier of a swatch. Oh, and I wanted to say that it, while it was limited edition, I do know that this shade, again, it's called Please Yourself, does get re-released um, from time to time in different collections. So it's not like you'll never see it again, um, or it was, you know, just limited edition to that one collection and it will never be released again because I have seen this a few times in the past and I just never got it until that collection came out. I finally caved and got it. Um, so yeah, while it's not in their permanent collection, um, it does come out from time to time. So it is, it will, it is available sometimes. Okay. So now please yourself is this amazing, beautiful, highly reflective pale pink right there. Absolutely beautiful and just a gorgeous, sexy summertime springtime blush. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk to you guys about is Inside a Palette that just came out recently by Tarte. It is their Showstopper palette, and this is limited edition. Um, the blush in it is limited edition. However, I almost feel like you should go out and get this palette if for no other reason to get the blush because, oh my god, you guys, I love the blush in here. I just cannot even tell you. Um, so this is what that blush looks like. It is called Fame, and as you can see, it is a matte sort of tangerine-y, I don't want to say peach because it's definitely more orange than peach, but it's, it's, yeah, it's like a matte tangerine color, and it is absolutely adorable on the cheeks, and I want to point out, if you're a dark-skinned gal like myself, it gives dark skin the cutest flush of color ever and because of this I'm totally in love with like orange blushes now and I've been branching out and as you'll see in a few minutes um, uh, that I have some other orange blushes and I'm just loving the orange blushes okay so right here is the fame swatch and it's a it's a real heavy swatch because when I just did a regular swatch it didn't show up 
Um, but it shears out beautifully and it just gives the sweetest, cutest flush of color on the cheeks. Totally in love with that one. Okay, so the next one is by Physicians Formula. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a makeup whore like I am. And you're probably, I would guess that you're familiar with these. Um, it is one of the Happy Boosters, a Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in the shade Rose. Now, they have these in a few different shades. And I can't remember how much it costs. I believe it's under $10. I will, when I edit this, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. But it just is the most insanely adorable thing ever. Look at that. Oh, could you die? It's so flippin' cute um, with those little hearts. And this, again, is, I've been wearing this one a lot lately. It's just a really cute um, kind of candy pink. I'll do a finger swatch for you so you can see. Kind of candy pink color. And what I just discovered a moment ago was that um, it's not completely matte. It has a sort of satin finish, but it's not glittery or sparkly at all. It has a very subtle sheen to it. Um, but it is sort of a more matte version of the MAC Please Yourself. As you can see, um, this is Please Yourself by MAC, and that is the Physician's Formula in Rose. So yeah, again, it's just a really cute candy pink flush of color for spring and summer. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is one of my favorites, and I've had this for like eight months or so. Now, originally I got this in a kit, but I do know uh, they sell it on the Tarte website. I'm not sure if it's at Sephora or not on its own. I think it might be. I'll let you, again, when I edit it, I'll put that on the bottom. But it is the Tarte Air Blush. It is called the Maracuja Bouncy Blush. Mine is in Shimmering Poppy. Um, it's in, available in three different shades, and look at that packaging. Again, beautiful packaging. Um, it's got passion flowers on the front, which are my favorite flower, not that you care, but I am a gardener. That's my other massive passion. I grow things and I just love passion flowers. So you open it up and that's what the blush looks like. And yes, it is like the Maybelline uh, bouncy blush, except in different colors and with much better staying power. Now I own one of the Maybelline bouncy blushes and I've owned it for a long time and I love it, but it doesn't have the best staying power. Um, you do have to reapply after a few hours. This however has much better staying power. Um, now it costs $26 and it's, you know, that's pretty high for a blush, but it is worth every penny. Okay, so the, um, and there's a full size mirror down there. The texture again is like gel like and very smooth. This is what it looks like on my finger. Um, and it comes off a lot more peachy on camera. In real life, it's actually quite pink. It's, it's a very peachy, pinky peach color. And it's just beautiful, you guys. It's so just soft and yummy. Now that is it right there. And it does have gold glitter in it, but it doesn't, it just comes off as a beautiful sheen. Um, it doesn't, it's not, you know, I don't know. It's just a really pretty sheen, despite the fact that it's actual glitter. Um, it doesn't look like hunks of glitter on your cheeks. Again, it's just a beautiful, sexy sheen. And it's not like uber, uber pigmented. That's what it looks like on my finger, but you can see how it shears out really nicely on the skin. Um, it's not uber, super pigmented, but it is buildable. And I just, I cannot tell you guys how, like, with that gold sheen on it, it just gives you that look of, like, um, like your skin is really dewy and you're in a humid environment. And it's just very sexy, very pretty, and a lovely blush for the spring and summer. Again, it is available on its own on the Tarte website. And I believe it's Sephora as well. And it is $26. Okay, so speaking of, like, dewy and sexy, um, this is something I got in a kit as well. And it is the... Uh, Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle, and mine is in the shade Watermelon Slash Moonstone. Now this is what it looks like, and it is a full size. These are very expensive on their own. I think um, it's a little jar. It is, um, what is it, 5.7 grams, and these cost 20, I think they're 27 or 28 on the Sephora website. 
which is really expensive to me. But again, I did get this in a kit with a bunch of other amazing stuff for, I think, $38 or something. So I got a total steal on this, especially considering how much I love it. Okay, so now you open up the little jar and you have to smell it first thing because it's called watermelon slash moonstone and it smells exactly like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Um, it's just yummy. Okay, so what these are, they're a little gel, gel formula blush um, and it is a color swirled in with um, one of their um, shimmering skin perfectors. Um, now again, this is in Moonstone. They do have an opal one. They have all of them, all of their shimmering skin perfector shades mixed in with different shades. And so this is a beautiful kind of deep red with Moonstone, which is a very pretty gold reflective color, as you can see in there. And again, it's all swirled around and it is, it's this really yummy, soft gel. I want to say gelacious. I don't know if that's actually a term, but it's this yummy, yummy, soft gelacious texture. And it just, I'm going to swatch it for you guys. I'm going to do a kind of heavy swatch because, um, the color is kind of sheer and light, but oh my God, you guys, this stuff is so sexy on the cheeks. Um, I have layered this over other blushes and I've also just tapped it onto my skin by itself when I'm not wearing any kind of BB cream or foundation or anything, um, which is what makes this so perfect for spring and summer when it's like so hot you don't want to wear a whole mask of makeup. This is perfect to just tap on your bare skin. And as you can see, it's very reflective. It's that Moonstone uh, highlighter in there. And it again, it just gives you this really dewy, humid, uh, just sexy, sexy glow on your cheeks. And um, I realize $27 is like crazy nutso for something this size, but I'm trying to think if I would actually buy one of these for $27, and I think I probably would now since I've tried them because they're that good, and this is going to last me a long time. Um, so, yeah, I would probably say when this runs out, which won't be for a very long time, I will probably repurchase because despite them being outrageously expensive, this is a great, beautiful product, and I just I can't tell you how like gorgeous this is on the cheeks. It's just sexy. Okay. So the next one is a recent and total favorite of mine, and um, it was a total surprise. I was sent a sample of it when I got some stuff from Sephora, and I thought, ooh, that's an ugly color. And so it sat on my makeup table for, I don't know, a few months. And one day when I was just playing around, I got a hair up my ass, and I tried it, and boom. I went out that day and bought it, literally. Um, and it is one of the Makeup Forever Second Skin Cream Blushes. And this is in the shade 410. Now the Makeup Forever blushes don't have any names, they just have numbers. And it is described on the Makeup Forever website as a coral blush. That's all it says, is coral. Now if you ask me, it is a neon color, or coral. Straight up neon coral. Now that is what that looks like. And on camera, it doesn't even show how bright this actually is in real life. In real life, this is a bright, bright neon coral. Now, what makes this so wonderful, wonderful aside from the beautiful, adorable color, is the formula. Again, it is called the Second Skin Blush, and it it's called that for a reason. Like it really does just melt into your skin. Now this is another good one for when it's hot and I don't wear any um, BB cream or CC or foundation. I will just use my fingers and tap this into my cheeks and there's just like no words. There's just no words for how stinking, stinking cute this is on the cheeks. It just gives the cutest I hate using the word pop, I just feel like it's so overused, but just the cutest pop of tangerine, yummy gorgeousness on the cheeks. And you just have to try it out for yourself to see, really. I highly recommend this to all skin tones, but I would say especially, especially for the dark gals because, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, again. The Makeup Forever Second Skin Cream Blush, and this one is the color 410.
And if you're interested in a good cream blush, I would suggest go and try any of these colors because the formula is just so good for spring and summer and for just putting on your bare skin because it really just melts in and looks very natural. Plus, they're only $21, which I think is great because it will last you forever. I'm telling you, 2.8 grams. Yeah, this sucker will last a long time. And I just highly, highly, highly recommend it. Okay, I'm trying to move along quickly here because this is already pretty long. Okay, so the next one I want to talk to you guys about, and nobody talks about these on, um, I didn't swatch that for you guys. Let me swatch that for you. That's weird. Um, I really want you guys to see this one, the Makeup Forever one. Okay, so that's what it looks like on my finger. Again, in real life, this is much brighter than it's coming off on camera. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. It's just a neon pink coral. That is it right there. So cute. So cute and so good. You must go get one. Okay, so the next one is um, actually I have a couple of Shea Moisture ones. Shea Moisture is a company that's exclusive to Target. Um, and you, oh, you know what? This is actually not by Shea Moisture, but I depotted it and put it into the Shea Moisture Compact because it fit. And you know what? I'm not going to talk about this because this is a limited edition from a Stila palette. Um, and it's not available anymore. Okay, moving right along. Um, this one is by Shea Moisture, and it's so unexpected and beautiful. Now, I don't know why I chose this, because I normally never would, but somewhere in my like unconscious mind, I must have known that I would fall in love with it, because... I bought this again. I just don't know why. I don't, like, I don't know how this ended up in my collection. As it turns out, it's phenomenal. Okay, so it is one of the little Shea Moisture blushes. Now, if you're not familiar with Shea Moisture, their whole thing is they sell um, all their makeup products as kind of refills. Um, just in like the little metal pan. And then they had also sell these gorgeous uh, metal uh, palettes that are blank. So you can, their, their whole idea behind their thing is that you pick and choose and you create your own palettes. It's pretty cool. And the palettes themselves are really cheap. The small little one is like $5.99. Um, and then the bigger one is 10 bucks. And they're beautiful. I have a couple of the smaller ones. I use them. I love them. And so, yeah. But in case you don't want to build a whole palette, they also do sell these little plastic compacts on their own. And they're ma they have little magnets in the bottom so you can just pop their products in here. Okay, so this is one of the um, powder blushes and it is called Varcala Spice. Now I realize it just looks like a like weird brown in the pan. And I believe I paid, I want to say $6.99 for these, which is great because oh, this is so good, you guys. So good. Again, Varcala Spice. And I'm going to swatch it for you. Now, it looks like that. It just looks like brown, right? Hold on a second. It is the most beautiful peachy pinky brown shade. I hope this shows on camera. Yeah, it, you can see right there. You can see how it's um, this very sheer wash of um, a peachy... Oh, it's just so beautiful. In real life, again, the camera is not picking it up as it should. But in real life, it's this beautiful peachy, pinky, like rust color. It is so cool. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but in real life, you can see. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's got a gold reflective like duochrome to it. So again, you would not need a highlighter with this. And you probably could use this as a highlighter. I just use it as blush. And this is something I've also been using a lot lately. And I absolutely love it. And I highly, highly recommend it. Um, again, it is called Varcala Spice by uh, Shea Moisture. Absolutely unique and beautiful, affordable, and um, yeah, I highly recommend that. Okay, so let's see. The next one is, oh, this is already at like 20 minutes. Um, I only have a few more, you guys. Okay, so this is a Wet n Wild Fergie blush. It is in the crappiest, shittiest, cheapest pack packaging ever, but oh well. The blush itself is really cute and good. And it is from the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection, and it is called Brush 
a brush with brilliance. And it is a, at first I thought it was like probably supposed to be a dupe for orgasm, which I don't like that much. Um, I just don't. But I compared the two and it's not. That um, orgasm is actually quite peachy color and this is straight up pink. This is pink with gold glitter. And again, it's coming off more dull on camera. It's actually quite, quite a bright, almost candy pink. I don't know if you, you can kind of see that down there, that pinky color. And um, it's reflective and it's, um, I think I paid $4.99 for it. And I'm not sure if these are still available in the stores. I think they are. But it's a, just a really sweet, easy, um, no fuss, summertime, spring, you know, pink blush. Okay, and the next one is a cream blush by Revlon. Looks like this, cost $10. These are not limited edition. They are available all year round in the drugstores. And this is in the shade Flushed. And there are two other shades. And this is a beautiful, beautiful hot pink. I know it looks crazy in the pan, but it shears out beautifully. The formula is like really nice, smooth formula. And let's see where uh, it just shears out beautifully, you guys. This is a really cute one really really cute um, I did a really heavy swatch so you could see it but that is it right there and again it's just a beautiful sweet summertime blush that is really good for just throwing on on your bare skin um, I just use my elf small stipple brush and it works beautifully and that's just a great spring summertime blush okay I have two more and then we're done the next one is you've probably heard of this one of the Too Faced Perfect Flush Blushes, um, the Sweethearts Blush. This was in. This is in the shade Something About Berry. Cutest packaging ever. I know we all love this. Um, I have this on my 1930s vanity on display, um, so I kind of forget to grab for it because it's like over there um, all the time. But when I do remember, I use it, and I just love this stuff. Look at that. Yes, yeah, so beautiful. It's totally crazy reflective. Candy pink color. Going to blaze swatch, but it's going to be kind of heavy. And, you know, you think some people say you could use, you know, it's like three blushes in one kind of thing. It's not. They're basically all the same color. And you just, you know, you go in there and you um, swirl your brush around and Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's reflective. It's cute and pink. And these are just gorgeous. And these, I don't even know if I'll ever need another one of these in my lifetime. They cost $30, which is a little bit high for a blush. But again, I don't think I'll ever need to buy another one. Like this will last me the rest of my life, most likely. So that's another really great summer springtime option. Very sexy and sparkly and cute. Um, yeah, if you don't like sparkly blushes, you won't like these. These are baked and they are extremely sparkly. Okay, so the next and last one is um, this little bugger by Tarte. Now, these are, what do they call these? I guess it's a blush and, lum oh, Maracuja Blush and Glow. Uh, highlighting Luminizer and Cheek Tint. This is in the shade Candlelight. Um, which is, as you can see, sort of a pinky beige, and I have one in the shade Moonlight that is um, pink, a sparkly pink, but I definitely like this one better. Now, this, it's got a teeny little bulb right there, that is the blush, and then this whole tube is full of highlighter, so you get a lot of highlighter. Um, now, this is what the blush looks like. It looks just kind of beige, but it's really, um, reflective you put it on right there see that it's almost just a highlighter on its own kind of depending on your skin tone but once you shear it out and the camera is not picking it up you can just see the reflection once you shear it out it gives this really pretty pale peachy pinky color and it's highly reflective as you can see again you could use this just as a highlighter but the, the shade that it is combined with the uh, reflective quality of it just give your cheeks this really like once again sort of dewy humid like you're in humid weather sexy sexy glow to the cheeks and I highly recommend these if you can find these um, 
going to go ahead and swatch the highlighter for you since we're here. That's what the highlight looks like. Ah, that was way too much. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell because it is so much. That's the highlighter. Again, that is in candlelight. Um, and they do come in three different shades. Um, these, I bought mine on the Tarte website. No, excuse me. I bought these on Hot Look. I think I paid $8 each ages ago. I've had these for a long, long time. Um, and I bust these out in the summertime. So yeah, if you can find these anywhere, I'm not sure if they're still on the Tarte website. I believe they are. I highly recommend them. Um, and the truth is, I do have a couple more, but this is so long, I'm just going to throw this in. The Becca Beach Tint in Guava is a beautiful, beautiful peach blush. Um, it's beautiful for just um, putting on bare skin without any kind of other makeup on. It gives a gorgeous, uh, just a beautiful tint to, to your cheeks. And this one, which was limited edition, it's the Sephora uh, Plus Pantone Universe. Um, when Radiant Orchid was color of the year last year, 2014, this came in a kit of Radiant Orchid colored stuff. Um, and that is the blush right there. Now, I believe you can kind of dupe this out. I have seen um, other companies with blushes this kind of color. It is a sort of lavenderish, purpley pink color, but when you put it on the cheeks, it comes out much more pink than it looks in the pan. And I would say it's actually like a sort of magenta color. And if you can find any kind of like magenta pink blush, it looks really crazy in the pan. Like you would probably think, oh my God, that's way too bright for my cheeks. Trust me, it's probably not going to be as bright. It's just shears out beautifully and ends up giving your cheeks just a really sweet pop of color. Um, I don't really know why I'm showing you this, guys. It's it's totally limited edition and not available anymore. But you might, you know, again, if you can kind of find a, another color like this, I would recommend it. That's a really weird thing to talk to you guys about because... Anyway, I'm just going to go. This video is really long. I hope it was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would love it if you would comment down below if you have any of these blushes, if there's any you're interested in trying, if you have any suggestions for me. I would love, love, love if you would comment down below. And please subscribe. I make new videos all the time. And so please come visit me again sometime. Uh, until then, I will see you next time. Bye, YouTube.